Hey there, welcome back to this playlist on Tosca 2024. So we have been discussing about lots of different new features introduced uh, in Tosca, but now uh, we are going to talk about uh, existing feature, uh, but a feature which is uh, very much talked about. And you might have come across this particular topic uh, many times. So this topic is about linking GitHub revisions to Tosca revisions. Okay, so first let me clarify uh, it might sound like uh, we are trying to integrate a uh, source code management tool like github with tosca so that uh, we can uh, store and retrieve our code uh, from github but uh, it is a misconception so in a usual scenario you will uh, do a github integration in order to basically store your code uh, in a central repository and then you can maintain a local repository and then you can manage your code uh, from that central repository. But here Tosca has its own repository which is nothing but a database uh, where it stores all its objects. And we are not trying to move those objects into a GitHub repository, but what we are trying to do is uh, basically uh, link our uh, Tosca revisions, which are nothing but uh, the versions of our objects with uh, some GitHub repository, uh, which has got its own revisions or own versions of the code. And then we are trying to link those versions together so that uh, if we want to revert back to a particular version uh, in your GitHub repository, which is linked to a particular Tosca version of your code, then uh, you can revert uh, back to that particular version. So the whole purpose of doing this uh, is to maintain some versions of your Tosca code, which is basically linked to a GitHub uh, code version. Now this GitHub code version could be your development code and you're trying to create some links between these different versions so that uh, when you are pointing to a particular version, and you're executing your Tosca uh, uh, automation test cases, then uh, you could be sure that these are being executed for a particular uh, version of your code. So uh, there are some prerequisites uh, before you can actually uh, link your Tosca repository to your GitHub repository, uh, which allows you to link uh, individual GitHub versions uh, to Tosca revisions, right? So these prerequisites um, are that it only works with a multi-user workspace. So you always need to work in a multi-user workspace and not a single user workspace. Then uh, we need to enable the versioning uh, from our Tosca options for a particular project. And then uh, we need to create a personal access token uh, in our GitHub uh, repository which should have full control of uh, the private repositories. Okay, so whenever we are creating a personal access token in GitHub, uh, we need to make sure that we select uh, the right scopes for all the repositories. So this will give access to Tosca so that it can access your private repositories or public repositories uh, and it can do different kinds of things like uh, committing or uh, accessing the deployment status and many other things. So these are all the prerequisites uh, for um, linking your GitHub revision to your Tosca revision. So let's go uh, ahead and follow these different steps um, in Tosca and in our GitHub repository. So moving on with our first step, uh, which is to either use an existing multi-user repository or we can create a new one. So let me go ahead and create a new one. Uh, I'm not going to use the existing repository, so I'm going to create a new one here. And then uh, we are going to name this multi new. Okay, we will use the workspace template. So let's go back here and, right. And then uh, for admin user, uh, we will not use any password here and then we'll create this. So a multi-user workspace is created uh, and it is trying to log in uh, into this particular workspace. So we have not set any password. So we will just uh, click on login. So the first step uh, is now completed. Okay, 
uh, we'll go to the project view and then we will close all the other views now the second step uh, is to go to project options and here we will try to enable the versioning okay so which is again a prerequisite so if you go to your project options you will find versioning integration by default it will be uh, not enabled but then we'll go ahead and enable this so what we will do is we will close uh, our tosca for that we need to check in all since it's a multi-user workspace and then we will close this and uh, we will try to now relaunch it okay so we will relaunch our tosca commander and we will open our new multi-user workspace so that basically completes uh, the second prerequisite and now the third prerequisite is to uh, have a personal access token with the correct access uh, from your github repository so i'm already logged in into my github repository obviously you can create if you don't have one and then uh, you need to have a repository okay so it can be any repository in a real-time scenario it could be your actual uh, development code repository right so here um, i have cloned one of uh, the repositories which uh, i want to use and uh, it's a sample repository okay and it has got lots of commits as well now here uh, first uh, we need to go into our user right and uh, then we need to go into settings and here we need to go into developer settings and then uh, you will find your personal access token right now there are two types uh, you can use any one i will go ahead with the classic one and then um, i'm going to create a new token here okay so first uh, we need to give it a name so i'm going to give it tosca 2024 and you can choose any expiration uh, what you want uh, the most important part is the scopes okay in the scopes uh, we need to make sure that we have uh, enabled the scope for full control of private repositories and all these are checked right the remaining uh, is pretty much optional uh, tosca doesn't require access to all of this but it needs to get access to this repo scope right once you do that go ahead and generate the token and uh, copy this and store it somewhere because once uh, you move away from here you cannot uh, get it back okay so uh, now um, our github access token is created and uh, we can go back to our repository right uh, from here okay we need the github uh, url uh, which is the repo url so here if you click on the repository select the repository and then you go to code uh, you will find the https option and from there uh, you can go ahead and copy this url right now let's go back to tosca and here what we need to do is we need to first check out uh, our project which is our root project and then uh, once you check out and right click you will find an option connect to github repository so once you click on that it will ask you to enter the url for github repository so i have already copied it so i'll paste it here and then it will ask you for personal access token okay so uh, let's copy that token and then i'm going to paste it here and click on ok so now as soon as you do that uh, you will find that uh, tosca will be able to connect to your github and access your repo and from there it will try to find out all the branches uh, which are present in this github repository okay so currently i'm the main branch i will select that and uh, now if you see uh, it is connected to this particular uh, repository in github how you can make sure of that is you can go into your properties tab for your project 
and uh, there you will find uh, two additional properties one is versioning branch which is main and one is versioning url now we are ready to link our github version to our tosca version changes right so what i can do is i can now create uh, some objects in my project okay so i'm going to create a new test case folder and uh, i can also create a new test case here test case one okay so there are some objects created now and uh, now if i want to do a check in all you will see uh, that uh, this particular window will come up here and these are all the details which are being pulled from your github repository okay so here you can see the revision column uh, which is a specific revision of your github then uh, the author which is showing up here the date when this uh, revision was created and uh, then the message which is nothing but your comments to that particular revision right now uh, it all depends on which particular revision you want to select uh, to link your tosca revision to that particular revision in your github repository okay so now uh, the changes which you're doing in your tosca will be linked to that particular revision in your github repository which is a specific uh, code commit which has been done uh, on the development side and you are creating test cases based on that particular code commit okay you can also do a refresh to get any new revisions or code commits or uh, you can also look at the previous 10 uh, code commits okay you can also filter out uh, if there are lots of code commits here once you select uh, the correct revision then uh, you can go ahead and uh, check in your uh, commit okay so let's do that and uh, once you do that uh, it will check in all the changes plus uh, it will also uh, link your github revision to your uh, tosca revision now if you want to verify further okay so you can go uh, into any particular object in your uh, project which you have recently checked in and uh, you can go into a view change history and here you can load uh, the revisions okay so here you will see that uh, this is the revision this is the date uh, the user which uh, has committed this revision and uh, in the comments if you have mentioned something then it will be shown here okay so we can uh, mention our own comments as well otherwise tosca will uh, simply append uh, some comments based on your commit and your github repository so looking at this you can see uh, that this particular object has been linked to a particular github revision right and then uh, you can always revert back to a particular revision um, and uh, you can also create different branches from uh, your revision or your versioning of your objects so this is how you can link your github revision to your tosca revision uh, in your github repository so you need to follow some prerequisites and then you need to work on a multi-user workspace where you can create different objects and you can link it to particular revisions of your github code repository that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video